Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope your new plans are doing great. This video was unplanned. It was supposed to be a part of last week's video, but since that video got too long and considering the fact that millennial attention span is not more than two minutes, I decided to make this a separate video. Right now, we might all be thinking about a beautiful vegetable garden in the summer and sowing some seeds for it. So why not make this activity more sustainable by reusing some materials around the house? In this video, I'll show you some container options for sowing seeds. So let us begin. Let me first start with the most versatile product that is found in our homes. Yet they are thrown out. The toilet tissue paper rolls. This is an item that can be used in a lot of DIYs. You can use them directly for sowing seeds by keeping them on a tray and filling up some soil. Or we can make small containers out of it. For this, make four cuts on one end of the roll. Start folding each cut, first one, the second over the first one, the third over the second, and finally the fourth over the third one and under the first one so that they remain fixed. And that is it. If it has a problem standing on its own, you can combine them using an elastic band. Fill up some soil and sow the seeds. When we transfer them to larger containers later in summer, we can either remove the paper roll or place them directly into larger containers. The paper will decompose after a while. So that is one sustainable option and one of my favorite. The next one is using egg cartons. This is also a sustainable option as the cartons are just made of cardboard and can be decomposed while replanting them out in larger containers. But make sure you use it for seeds that have a shallow rooting system. Next option is using newspaper to make containers. There are two methods to make containers. One is very easy and the other needs a little bit more effort. For the first one, you'll need a glass bottle to help you get that container shape. Fold the newspaper in half along the longer side and roll it over a glass bottle. Now just crumple the excess of paper into the bottle and remove the paper from the bottle. We can squish back the excess of paper inside the container. For the next DIY container, take a newspaper sheet and tear it into half. Fold it into half along the shorter side. I'm making triangles like we used to make for aeroplanes or boats. Now make two folds from the bottom as I'm showing in the video. Flip it over and fold from the sides to meet at the center. Again make two folds from the bottom like we did before. If we check on the other side, there is a flap formed, but on this side it is hanging loose. So I'm going to insert the outer portion into the inner part to make a flap on this side too. Hang in with me, we're almost done. We need to make a few more folds. Fold the pointy end downwards. Do this on both the sides. Just make the creases, don't fold it. And for the final fold, make these two corners meet and create a crease where I'm showing. Leave the rest of the portion as it is. Do this again on both sides. This will make sense once we open to form the container. Now let us open it. You'll see the folds and creases falling into place. If it is not, go back and make the folds again. 
and here we have a zero cost origami inspired container these can also be composted and it is a sustainable option if you don't have time to make these you could also give this activity to your kids next i'll show you some non-sustainable options but reusing some plastic materials and repurposing them for sowing seeds the first one is to use such plastic containers if you have any they also have holes at the bottom which can drain out the excess of water we need not remove the lid as the lid can be closed to increase the humidity inside another option is to use milk cartons cut on top to make a container out of it you can poke some holes at the bottom for drainage the upper portion that has been cut out can be used to create dividers to separate the seeds if it is necessary the same can be done with yogurt containers and cans just poke some holes at the bottom and you are ready to sow some seeds if you have some old plastic pots you could also use them for sowing vegetable and flower seeds so those were some options which i used this year to sow seeds we don't need to spend a lot of money to buy containers for sowing seeds hope this video was useful for you thank you so much for watching take care and bye